The social media game is about to change, and you need to be ready for it. I have personally made tens of thousands of dollars online, and I've been doing this consistently since 2020. If there is one single lesson I have learned in that time, it is this. Perceived value is everything. If your content looks expensive, people assume you are expensive. They assume you are an authority. They trust you. For years, creating that high-end look required a $5,000 camera, a professional lighting setup, or a degree in graphic design. But that barrier to entry just vanished. I found a new AI workflow that allows you to generate world-class, agency-level brand aesthetics in seconds. I'm talking about the kind of visuals that luxury brands pay thousands for. Photorealistic tech setups, high fashion concepts, cinematic historical art. Today, I'm giving you the blueprint to build six different high value channels using this technology. We aren't just making images. We are building million dollar brand identities from thin air. Niche number one, the cozy tech desk setup. The first niche we are tackling is the cozy tech or dream desk aesthetic. If you go on Pinterest or Instagram right now, you will see these photos of perfect, moody, lo-fi gaming setups with neon lights, plants, and rain on the window. These photos get hundreds of thousands of saves. Brands pay insane money to get their keyboards or screens into these shots. Usually, to take a photo like this, you need a $5,000 camera, a $10,000 PC setup, and perfect lighting. We are going to do it with words. I am heading over to GhostScript and opening the Nano Banana Image Generator. I want to test the raw capability first. I am going to paste a prompt that describes a cozy, lo-fi aesthetic gaming desk setup at night. Rain is streaming down the window with city lights blurring in the background. The room is lit by soft purple and blue neon strips. There is a mechanical keyboard, a curved monitor displaying a retro game, and a small potted plant. I want this hyper-realistic 8K resolution and shot on a 35 mm lens. I will set the aspect ratio to three by four because this is for Instagram. Let's generate, okay, look at these results. This is without any reference image. The lighting is perfect. The reflection of the neon on the desk and the texture of the mouse pad are incredible. It is indistinguishable from a real photo. If you ran a tech page, you could post this right now and get 10,000 likes easy. But let's say you want a specific vibe. I found this viral image on Pinterest of a setup that is very botanical. Lots of plants, wood textures, and warm lighting. It is a nature meets tech vibe. I am going to take this image and upload it into GhostScript as a reference image. I am going to keep the prompt mostly the same, but I will add keywords like warm lighting, wooden desk, botanical theme, and clutter core. Let's generate and see how it interprets that reference. Wow. Look at how it respected the composition. It took that overgrown vibe from the reference, but created a completely new original room. It didn't copy the image. It copied the soul of the image. This is powerful because you can take a viral post from a competitor and create something that feels just as good, but is uniquely yours. Now, let's say I want to make this my brand. I want to sell a specific product, maybe a white gaming mouse. I will take the best image we just generated. I am going to use the in painting or edit feature. I will highlight the mouse on the desk and type change to a sleek white honeycomb design gaming mouse with RGB lighting. Generate. Boom. It is seamlessly integrated. The lighting reflects off the white plastic perfectly. I just created a product photo for a mouse I don't even own in a room that doesn't exist. This is a cheat code for e-commerce. You can run an entire dropshipping brand using this workflow without ever buying a sample product. Niche number two, concept fashion. Next up is a niche that drives massive engagement through debate, and that is concept fashion. You see these pages posting things like, what if Nike collaborated with Marvel? Or the Apple eye shoe. These posts go viral because people argue in the comments about whether they would buy them. It is absolute hype beast bait. Let's try to create a sneaker made of, let's say, glass and moss, a sustainable future concept. I'm going to paste a prompt that describes a futuristic high top sneaker concept design. The shoe is constructed from transparent reinforced glass and living green moss. It's floating in a studio setting with cinematic product lighting. I want this 8K, Unreal Engine 5 render quality with a streetwear aesthetic. Let's generate and see what we get. Okay, look at this result. This is wild. Look at the texture of the moss inside the glass sole. It looks like a high-end 3D render that would cost a design agency $5,000 to produce. 
you could start an entire Instagram page just posting daily sneaker concepts and build a massive following. But now, let's brand jack. I am going to upload a picture of a classic Air Jordan 1. Everyone knows this silhouette. It stops the scroll. I am going to use this as a reference, but keep my glass and moss prompt. Let's generate and see how it interprets that iconic shape. Wow, this is the power of Nano Banana. It kept the iconic Jordan silhouette that everyone recognizes, but it completely rematerialized it. It looks like a customized Jordan 1 that costs $50,000. If you post this and tag it cop or drop, your comment section will explode. Now, these fashion posts usually have that cool, bold typography behind the object. I am not going to open Photoshop. I am going to do it right here. I will ask GhostScript to add the text nature in a bold white sans serif font behind the shoe, partially obscured by the moss. Generate. Boom. It handled the depth perfectly. The text is behind the shoe but in front of the background. It understands 3D space. That is a finished viral content piece in under 60 seconds. Number 3. Liminal Spaces The third niche is huge on TikTok right now. Liminal Spaces. These are empty, eerie locations that feel familiar but wrong. It is a backrooms vibe. We need something unsettling. Let's try an empty indoor pool. I am going to paste a prompt describing a liminal space photo of a large, tiled indoor swimming pool room. The pool is empty and dry. The lighting is buzzing fluorescent tubes with no people. I want an eerie, nostalgic, dreamcore aesthetic with low-quality VHS tape grain. Generate. This actually gives me the creeps. It nailed the dead mall vibe. The lighting is flat and uncomfortable. This is exactly what the dreamcore community loves. Let's take it up a notch. I found a viral photo of a never-ending hotel hallway. It has got this weird yellow wallpaper pattern. I will upload that as a reference. My prompt will be an infinite hotel corridor, yellow patterned wallpaper, flickering lights at the end of the hall. The perspective stretches into darkness with a horror atmosphere. Let's generate. It captured the texture of the wallpaper perfectly. It feels like a maze. Now, to make it viral, we need a hidden element. I will use the edit feature. I will highlight a dark corner at the end of the hall and type, add a shadowy, indistinct humanoid figure standing in the darkness with glowing white eyes, subtle and scary. Generate. There it is. It is subtle enough that you might miss it at first glance, which forces people to stare at the image and share it saying, did you see it? That is retention hacking one-on-one. -on -one. You are gamifying the viewing experience. Niche number four. Historical figures in modern settings. We have seen the history niche, but let's look at a specific trend called historical figures in modern settings. Let's put Abraham Lincoln at a modern music festival. I am going to paste a prompt describing a selfie taken by Abraham Lincoln at a crowded EDM music festival. He is wearing his top hat, but also shutter shade sunglasses and a neon tank top. He is smiling and holding a red cup at nighttime with stage lights in background. I want photorealistic GoPro style. Generate. This is hilarious. The skin texture on Lincoln is frighteningly real, but the context is so absurd. These images fly on Reddit and Twitter. Let's try Julius Caesar. I want the AI to take those exact facial features but make them flesh and blood. The prompt is, Julius Caesar as a modern CEO, wearing a high-end Italian suit, sitting in a private jet, dealing with a stressful business call, photorealistic, cinematic lighting. Generate. It looks exactly like him. It doesn't look like just some guy. It looks like the statue came to life and became a hedge fund manager. Now, let's add the meme text directly. I will use the edit feature and prompt. Add a Snapchat style text bar across the middle that says, Brutus is acting sus tbh. Generate. The AI handles the transparency of the text bar and the font perfectly. You don't need a meme generator app. You can do it all in the flow. Niche number five. Isometric micro worlds. This next one is a huge niche for art and design pages. Isometric micro worlds. Little 3D slices of life floating in a void. They are incredibly satisfying to look at. Let's do a cyberpunk noodle shop. I am going to paste a prompt describing a 3D isometric render of a tiny floating island containing a cyberpunk noodle shop. Neon signs in Japanese and English with steam rising from the vents. A robot chef serving a customer. Rain falling against a black background. Cinema 4D render. Octane render. High detail. Generate. 
The detail here is insane. You can see the individual tiles on the roof. You can see the glow of the neon reflecting in the rain puddles. This is art station level quality. I found this beautiful isometric image of a cozy hobbit hole on Instagram. It is very green, round doors, warm light. I will upload that as a reference. My prompt will be a 3D isometric slice of a cozy hobbit hole underground. Round wooden door, fireplace inside, roots growing through the earth. Warm, inviting lighting. Cutaway view. Generate. It nailed the cutaway style. You can see the layers of dirt and the roots. It is like a digital dollhouse. Let's say we want to turn this into a series. Hobbit hole in winter. I will take the image we just made and prompt, cover the scene in thick white snow, icicles hanging from the roots, cold blue winter lighting, fireplace glowing warmly inside, generate. It kept the exact same layout, just changed the season. You can create a whole season's carousel in minutes. Spring, summer, autumn, winter. That is four posts from one concept. Niche number six, abstract macro. Finally, we have the abstract macro niche. This is the satisfying niche. Slime, sand, fluid, crystals. Let's try mixing paint. I am going to paste a prompt describing an extreme macro close-up of thick, heavy acrylic paint mixing together. Swirling patterns of gold, black, and teal. Oil slick texture. Glossy, wet look. High contrast. Studio lighting. Satisfying. Generate. You can almost feel the texture. It looks sticky and wet. People stare at these images for hours. I saw a viral video of kinetic sand being cut. Let's try to replicate that texture. My prompt will be macro shot of purple kinetic sand being sliced. The grain texture is visible. Sharp edges, soft crumbling sand, satisfying texture, generate. It got the grain perfectly. It doesn't look like purple mud. It looks like individual grains of sand holding together. Let's make it weird. I will prompt, change the sand to look like it is made of tiny glowing purple gemstones generate. Now, it is a fantasy object. It is sparkling. It is familiar, but impossible. This is the kind of image that gets reposted by satisfying pages with millions of followers. Niche number seven, surreal animal portraits. Now, let's get weird. This niche is exploding on Instagram reels and TikTok. It's animals, but not as you know them. It's surreal animal portraits. Think regal cats in Renaissance clothing or dogs as 80s action heroes? Let's try a cat astronaut. I am going to paste a prompt for a portrait of a fluffy orange tabby cat wearing a high-tech, futuristic NASA spacesuit. The helmet is off. The cat is looking stoically into the distance. Background is the surface of Mars. Cinematic lighting, highly detailed fur texture, 8K, photorealistic. Generate. Look at the fur detail. The reflection in the suit. It's adorable, but also epic. This is prime content for pet lovers, sci-fi fans, and meme pages. Now let's use a reference. I found this viral image of a dog dressed like a peaky blinder. It's got that gritty 1920s Birmingham aesthetic. Smoke, tweed caps, dark coats. Upload reference. My prompt will be a bulldog dressed as a 1920s gangster, wearing a flat cap and a wool trench coat, standing in a foggy cobblestone street, Moody, desaturated color palette. Cinematic, dramatic lighting. Generate. It captured the mood perfectly. The dog looks tough. It looks like a character poster for a movie. Let's give him a prop to sell the story. Highlight the paw area. Prompt. Add a vintage pocket watch held in the paw. Generate. Now it's a narrative. Is he late for a meeting? Is he checking the time before a heist? It adds a layer of story to a static image. You can create a whole series animals of history, or pets in professions. Niche number eight, neon noir architecture. This is for the vibe curators, neon noir architecture. It's about taking cityscapes and drenching them in mood, rain, and neon. It's very popular for lo-fi music channels and aesthetic mood boards. Let's do a Tokyo alleyway. I am going to paste a prompt describing a narrow back alley in Tokyo at night, heavy rain falling, lit by overflowing neon signs in pink, cyan, and red, Reflections in the wet pavement, cables hanging overhead, cyberpunk aesthetic, cinematic, moody, atmospheric, generate. The atmosphere is thick. You can feel the humidity and the rain. It's a perfect background for a quote or a music track. Now let's use a reference. I found a viral photo of a lonely gas station in the middle of nowhere. It's foggy, with just the station lights glowing. It feels isolated and cinematic. Upload reference. 
My prompt is a retro 1950s gas station at night, surrounded by thick fog. The only light comes from the station's fluorescent sign. Eerie, lonely, cinematic. Edward Hopper style painting, but photorealistic. Generate. It nailed the isolation. It's beautiful and a little bit sad. This is high art content generated in seconds. Let's make it sci-fi. Prompt. Add a hovering futuristic vehicle parked at the pump. Sleek, silver, anti-gravity. Generate. Now it's a scene from a movie that hasn't been made yet. It's retro futurism. You've taken a standard aesthetic and elevated it. We just created content for eight different viral niches. Any one of these could be a full-time channel. The bottleneck is no longer skill. It is not about knowing Photoshop or Blender or photography. The bottleneck is your imagination and your ability to curate good ideas. Ghost Script and Nano Banana have leveled the playing field. You can now compete with big agencies and professional artists from your bedroom. If you want the exact prompts I used in this video, I have put them all in a free template pack in my Telegram channel. You can copy paste them, swap out the subjects, and start generating your own viral assets immediately. And if you want to know how to turn these images into money, how to sell the prints, how to get sponsorships for the desk setups, how to build the audience, that is what we cover in Wi-Fi Uni. That is where we turn these cool images into a business. Links are in the description. Stop consuming, start creating. I will see you in the next one.